Hey, what's going on guys? Edward here, back with another video. Thank you so much for being here. Um, is the market actually about to crash? Let's see what's going to happen um, here now, taking a look at the stock market. Um, from here, like, take a look at this example, right guys? I always tell you, like looking back in the past, you know, I like to use the 50 simple moving average and see how far um, the market goes right usually it's like when it gets very expensive it has a, has a peak you know like right here you can see also on the rsi has a very big peak uh, it tends to to fall okay to crash well it's not it's basically not a crash a crash it's basically a pullback right it makes a correction reaches the 50 sma and then it starts pushing back up okay so you know it goes up it reaches a peak and then drops again all right so like right here Again, at this zone, it was very, very expensive, and and again, the market did that pullback. Uh, coincidentally, it was a uh, you know it was happening things happening in China, so that affected the market. So it were, we were a few days below the 50 SMA. All right, now look what's happening on the daily. You see now it's starting to see rejections right there, right? And now you see the first daily candle very bearish right here. It's a very a big um, bearish engulfing candle. Even on a four hour, let's see how it looks. Like right now, pretty much remember this flag right here, this nice um, demand zone right there. The price just, it was like, you know, you're playing golf and you hit the ball and it just started to shoot up, right? All the way to the top, uh, we are very on top on a four hour and on top of the 50 simple moving average. What I think is going to happen is that we're going to have this, this correction, very big. Uh, this week was going on one hour All right this is what what's happening right now it's just an example uh right there of that supply zone was a small supply zone right here right here this big momentum right there the price came retesting is basically a, a resistance right there now market is coming down it's not that i made the entry i might i actually missed it it was just an example but just to give you an idea that the market could actually continue uh, crashing. Look at this big sale right there, big momentum today. So look at that way. Let's try to go back a little bit on the past. Like right here, you see this big momentum when the market has started to push back up. So this, this is actually a demand zone. So market could actually be dropping all the way down to that zone. And somewhere around here, we can actually start looking for really nice buys that could actually shoot that thing up again. All right. So, yes, we are expecting it's very possible the market could actually continue dropping. There is some type of zone right here, small zone. You know, you know, if you've been following me for a long time now, you know, I don't like selling, even though, you know, it might look. Uh, or might have a nice formation for a sale. I just rather take a look and just watch the market. I'm just going to wait for a nice buy, okay? And I think our opportunity to get a nice really buy, um, it would be somewhere around here. Let's see what's going to happen at this zone. I'm very interested to see what's going to happen tomorrow. Let's see if this level is able to hold the price right there for tonight, and let's see what's going to happen tomorrow. But right now it's uh, it's quite you know after that massive drop, this is our biggest like right now this is our supply zone right here it's an entire supply zone okay so uh let's see what's going to happen if the market actually is going to uh, stay there one second if the market is actually going to just wait on that zone like hold it and then start pushing up you can maybe find some scalping opportunities right here uh, at this zone, but of course we are in Asian sessions, so nothing to do there. Look at all this noise, so it's not going to be pretty much like doing anything. Let's see what's going to happen and what's going to be the position for tomorrow. This is Nasdaq. Uh, let's take a look at US 30. And uh, same thing here. Let's see what's going to happen. US 30 was actually kind of like breaking. It is breaking. This is another example. I was just back testing here uh, the supply and demand zones. Um, Right now, look at what's happening right here. Look at this nice, nice really trend. 
right here somewhere somewhere around here so this zone yeah this broker is actually kind of different but anyways it's a nice trend right there it looked like a like it's breaking plus is looking also like a head and shoulder um but still there's a lot of indecision right there market is coming back up it looks like it was just retesting the zone let's see here all right so it looks like it was coming back it's possible like if you if you think about it look at the formation where is the neckline right here looks like the neckline is somewhere here this is the neckline so ha huh, what would you think right let's see here this is the actual formation uh, kind of like there and there Anyways, that is the that is the actual formation for the head and shoulder. You see that the price actually came back up to retest the actual zone. It's in a certain angle right there. What do you think, guys? Do you think it's actually going to continue dropping? I do believe it's going to continue uh, actually pushing down after that type of breakout right there. Let's see how it looks in a four hour. Yeah, we might have some type of correction let's see where are the previous highs somewhere around here so interesting so if the market drops it might be reaching this previous zone right here okay the very strong zone right there so if it actually breaks that which i think is going to happen it's happening right now it may not have a lot of movement because this asian session as i mentioned but we could have a drop all the way down here okay and then we're going to start actually be looking for bias again. All right. Uh, but at the moment, uh, that's how it's looking on a daily. Looking really nice, actually, right there, that, that head and shoulder. So that's with US 30. You see also price action. Let me just show you right quick. I always tell you this, guys. Um, you know, when the price is pushing up, it keeps creating. Okay. New highs. Higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. And then all of a sudden it starts doing this. Like it's failing to create new highs. It drop, it creates the first lower low right there, right? The, this was the first lower low. Price push up again, miss this high. So it's creating now a higher low, a, a lower high, I'm sorry, right there. And now it fails and breaks all the way to the bottom so it's breaking this previous low this previous low so right now the market is creating lower lows that's why i want you to know and um, basically to have the idea now it's doing the pullback now it's very possible that tomorrow is going to be creating new lows okay it might continue to the downside all right you can see the very change of direction right there with this first the um, this first higher low right there the, pr the price is failing to create a new higher high right and then goes down and creates the first lower low. So that's our sign. Okay, if you saw, if you've been seeing my previous videos, you know, basically like right here, this was the sign that the market wanted to go down right there already. Okay, so it's our job to find out and detect when the market wants to start reversing and even before the price actually starts breaking a trend. All right, so nice formation right there, I do believe. The market will, cont will actually continue to the downside all right so that's basically it with the us 30 let's see s p 500 as well had the same drop today let's see yeah massive correction right there so look what's happening as well we have a trend also have a nice trend right there okay preview record highs these are a lot, uh, these are basically um, supply zones right here. You see that big momentum to the downside, then the price came back up, retesting the demand zone, and then drop, right? It looks like it actually came back up again to retest it for a second time, but it's coming back down, it's failing. You see every time the price was pushing up, and what are you seeing now? The price actually is creating higher lows, uh, lower highs, I'm sorry. 
So it was creating higher, uh, lower highs and then a drop, creating the first lower low right here with this first lower low. Let me do that example again, let's say from this entire push, right? Pull back. Then it's like, it's kind of like in a, in a triangle formation, right? Consolidation, every time it's squeezing. And now it breaks very strong to the downside, breaking that trend right there also, right? It breaks the trend, it creates the first lower low, right? And now it pushed up to retest the channel, the, the actual trend line, plus it's also touching this previous support line, which is now a resistance. Now, very likely the price actually will continue to create lower lows and lower highs, all right? I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be reaching that, that zone. Uh, you see this big, big push right here? So this is an entire demand zone. Right here, this is, this zone, this is a big, big demand zone right there. Okay, so most likely we're going to be reaching that zone. Right here, we can start looking for buys. Okay, very, very nice buys right there. That is basically it. You see what I'm doing is just price action right there. Nice trend to the upside. You see the market now breaking, creating the first low. That is it. The market wants to go down. So right here, I do have a sell. Um, I'm in negative right now, but let's see what's going to happen during Asian session. I did make the entry a little late, but... Uh, it's, it's looking nice. It's looking good. So yeah, let's see what's going to happen there, guys, uh, with S&P 500 also. Let's see how it looks on the daily. Yeah, well, also very, very expensive. Look at that first daily candle. It's a bearish engulfing candle right there. So let's see what's going to happen. I'm pretty sure we're going to have some type of pullback right there. Even that small trend right here, you can use the Fibonacci. So you see the price could reach anywhere the golden zone before starting to, I don't know, it could start maybe consolidating at some point and then start pushing up later. But looking good for a nice sale. I did get in on this one. I don't know why you know me. I don't like selling unless I see something really nice. I uh, hope, you know, I don't lose this one. But anyways, if it happens, it happens. Nice zones right here, uh, supply zones right now. So I'm pretty sure we're going to start actually selling very strong right now. So yeah, let's see what's going to happen tomorrow, guys. That will be all for today. Just wanted to give you a little analysis uh, for the remaining of the week. That will be all. Please follow me on Telegram if you want to see this information being posted every day um, in there. Also, new content will be coming on the channel on the youtube channel so please subscribe act activate the notifications so you will be aware whenever i post a new video on here thank you guys again for watching i'll see you guys next time take it easy